All right, I wanted to upload a quick little video to kind of debate something that I've seen for a long time, but I've been seeing it get more and more exaggerated. And in watching one of the videos that was sent to me yesterday, um, I kind of have to talk about it, you know. If you've known uh, my stances long enough, you know that I'm not a huge fan of the straps because I'm a believer that they're, they do tell lies. They do skew matches. It gives people mechanical advantages based on how they're tied, how much the person's let away, allowed to get away with in the setup. And, you know, there's just so many variables, and it's not really like human-to-human -human contact. And I also think it's changing the landscape of the game where guys are becoming strap-dependent. They're so, uh, they need to get to them. You know, the, the, they're, they're not complete through the hand and wrist, and they're almost like fish out of water when they're not allowed to get to them. So with that being said, um, this match is an example. I don't really have a dog in the fight on who won, who lost, but I do think that the straps were the major decider based on how they were tied. And again, I've seen this in many other matches, and with certain guys, the leverages it changes is unbelievable. So I'm talking particularly about the match that recently happened with Brandon Ellisesser and Paul Lynn. So that was sent to me, just, I was asking James Reed how the event went, yada yada. And I couldn't help but notice right away in the setup, the strap around their wrist, that's, this is, guys, this is your fucking wrist, right here, you see that? This is your wrist. Now if you go to the doctor and fall down and you snap some shit down here, I don't know why this is such a bad fucking angle, right, you snap some shit down here, you've now broken your fucking forearm, right? That shit, if you look at it, I took a screenshot of it, was right about there. That's like four inches below the wrist. That changes the leverages and what you can hold and how it supports your wrist. It's like totally different fucking universes. It's not even the same game at this point in time. Especially a guy. So I think it affected that match. You'll look and see the Paul was just as low too. But Paul kind of sweeped sideways. He wasn't using that low strap. And where Brandon sat back on his tricep and his elbow and let the strap sink in down here. Now just think if you're a fairly strong guy, what you could hold in your hand and how those numbers multiply when you start coming in like this. Now you've got it down here basically on the top of this brachioradialis or whatever the fuck it's called, right? You could probably hold double the weight. That is a mechanical thing. And when it's that low, all wrapped up that low, you've probably got no chance of your wrist being buckled. So this is something I've seen with guys with short forearms even. Now put that on a shorter forearm and you have that strap down here in the middle. How much does it exaggerate what you can hold, what you can row, how much it supports you? So I fought the fight with straps and I've come to accept them. But now when you add an exaggerated version of the straps that's not just skewing matches, you know, it's like, oh, well, you got to learn to be savvy and learn to play the game. The game is being played too fucking much, guys. Too much. I mean, tying it around your hands and blah, 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 it needs to be a better setup. That's fine. The strap should be, in my opinion, if you got one of these naughty bones, most of you all do, and you, you, need to, you want to have some movement for your top roll or hooking, I get it. You don't want to be hindered and have it choking off around your nerves and whatever there cool the top of the bottom part of the strap in my opinion so the bottom part of the strap that goes around like this the top of it meaning up here i would think should be cresting right to where that bone pops that's i'd say that's a good like inch or so below your wrist joint it sure as fuck should not be like this and if you think i'm kidding Go watch the match and look at where they set up. It's almost in the dead middle of their forearms. It's ludicrous. It has to change because it is changing matches. And I do think that that match was horribly skewed because of that strap wrap. So it's not a dig on refs in general because I know how problematic arm wrestlers are. They're going to take as much as they ought to take. But if it keeps going, then people are going to have shit hooked down to their elbow joint. We're getting away from what the point is here. So that shit was fucking ridiculous. And personally, uh, enough is enough.
uh, I'm not going to sit there around and let somebody do that shit to me. Grow a fucking hand, grow a wrist, and put that shit up here where it belongs. It's tying you together. It's not a crutch.